Have you ever wondered why magnets lose their strength when they get hot? It's a fascinating process that involves the very building blocks of matter, atoms. Let's dive into it. Magnets are made up of atoms that have magnetic moments, which are essentially tiny magnetic fields. These atoms are organized into regions called magnetic domains. When these domains are aligned, they create a strong collective magnetic field, which is what gives a magnet its strength. But when you heat a magnet, things start to change. As the temperature rises, the thermal energy causes the atoms to vibrate more vigorously. Imagine a dance floor where everyone is moving in sync. This is how the magnetic domains work at lower temperatures. But as the heat increases, it's like someone cranked up the music and everyone starts moving chaotically. The vibrations disrupt the alignment of those domains. And as a result, the magnetic field weakens. There's a critical point in this process known as the Curie temperature. This temperature varies depending on the material of the magnet. Once the magnet reaches this temperature, the domains lose their alignment entirely. At this stage, the material transitions to a paramagnetic state, meaning it can no longer retain its magnetic properties. It's like flipping a switch. Once it's off, the magnet no longer holds onto its strength. What's happening here is that the thermal agitation, the chaotic movement of atoms, overcomes the forces that keep the domains aligned. It's a delicate balance. And once that balance is disrupted, the magnet loses its power. Now, here's the interesting part. This process isn't entirely irreversible. If you cool the magnet down before it reaches extreme temperatures, there's a chance that some of its magnetic properties can be restored. It's like giving the dance floor a chance to settle down and get back in a sink. However, if the magnet is exposed to prolonged or excessive heat, it can suffer permanent damage. The microstructure of the material can change leading to a loss of its magnetic capabilities for good. So, the next time you're using a magnet and it gets a bit too warm, remember what's happening at the atomic level. It's a battle between thermal energy and magnetic alignment. And once that battle is lost, the magnet may never be the same again. Understanding this process not only gives U.S. insight into the nature of magnets, but also highlights the delicate interplay between heat and magnetism. It's a reminder of how even the smallest changes at the atomic level can have significant effects on the materials we use every day.